I am going to prove to you the Sturgeon Heroic Line Breakers are the best infantry unit in the entire game. Mountain Blade, Bannerlord 2. Yes, I guarantee you after this video you are going to be agreeing with me. Trust me. Here we go. So the first test I set up was 500 Sturgeon Line Breakers against 500 Imperial legionaries now you would think having a sword and a shield and the fact that you can just put up an entire shield wall in front of your army would give the imperial legionaries the advantage that's what you would think if i was in a battle i would definitely prefer to have a one-handed sword and a shield than a big two-handed axe simply for the fact you can block the attack and then you can just shove your sword into the body of whoever's attacking you but apparently not Apparently the Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers are more powerful than the Imperial Legionaries. Here you go, it's just facts guys. So the next battle we are going to jump into is 500 Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers against 500 Imperial Men Avalishon, or Avalishon, Men Avalishon, whatever. These guys have got a two-handed spear and they're pretty good to be honest against cavalry units so they can brace and stab the horse in the face and kill them so they're good against cavalry units but against these two-handed axe wielders I'm not so sure it looks like they have got absolutely decimated and this was probably what 15 seconds it took 15 seconds for the Imperial Man Falavlions to be beaten by the Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers and there you go 449 of them were killed by the Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers. Super, super strong. And the next battle we've got is the Sturgeon Heavy Spearmen. These guys do have a two-handed spear, but for some reason in this battle, they're deciding to use their shield and one-handed sword. I'm really not too sure why. If you had a shield and a spear, it'd be much easier to kind of make a shield wall and stab the spear over the shield and kill whoever's coming at you. That would make sense. But of course, this isn't real life. This is just a game. Is this real life? And in the game, it's programmed by AI. And the AI, for some reason, is not very intelligent when it comes to these custom battles. They just simply just run in head first with no strategic thought about what they're going to be doing. And they just die. But the next battle is a Sturgeon Heavy Axemen. 500 strong. And they again have a one-handed shield and a one-handed axe. And they also have the throwing axe. So before the battle even starts, they can get a couple of throwing axe hits off. Doesn't look like it's done that much damage, to be honest. I think this is probably going to turn out exactly how the other battles have gone. To be honest, the Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers, as you can see, absolutely wiping through the shields and destroying these Sturgeon Heavy Axemen. Next up to face the Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers is the Asurai Veteran Infantry. These guys are one of the more powerful infantry units in the game, but they still only have that one-handed sword and a shield. And to be honest, every test that I have set up, Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers literally just tear through the arses of all these shields. I think the two-handed axe is just so strong that as soon as they hit the shield, they have to break the shield or they break the face of the infantry unit, to be honest. And this is literally the quickest battle. That is crazy, man. These guys are so friggin' powerful, it's so dumb, that you're gonna see in this video that they are gonna literally destroy every single infantry unit in this game. It's kind of dumb, to be honest. I mean, yes, two-handed axes are powerful, granted, and their armor is pretty fucking badass, but to say that they are the strongest unit in the entire game, I don't know. You might not agree with me, but I don't know if that should happen in real life, because this is real life, isn't it? Is this real life? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure this is exactly how a real battle would unfold. Or it might just be a game, I might be wrong. But you can see here, the Asurai Malmaluk Palace Guard literally stood no chance against these Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers. And next up we have got 500 
Vlandian Volgiers. These guys have a two-handed halberd slicer thing, which is going to be good against horses because you slice the legs off. And it's probably going to be good for a poking and from range if you've got like a shield all in front of you. And I mean, on paper, you put in a two-handed weapon against another two-handed weapon, it should be pretty close, really. You've got an axe versus like a halberd should on paper be close and that bar is like kind of close i guess they've done okay but there was still 227 so they literally killed half of these sturgeon heroic lion breakers and it was as easy as that these guys are so friggin op but next up we've got the vlandian sergeants 500 strong i mean <coughs> do we have to really see this whole thing like i'm pretty sure you know the deal so far if you've got a one-handed sword and a shield, you're just going to get your ass spanked against these two-handed axe raider bastards. They're just too friggin' powerful. I mean, look at that. They literally just wiped out. They just can't. No one can kill them. It's literally impossible. Like, no one can kill them. But at the end of this video, I do set them up against the Britannian Fian champions, who are the OP ranged unit, if you know Mountain Bay Battle Lord 2. So stick around for that one because that is interesting. But here we have the Batanian Oath Swarms. These guys are okay. They're like they're not they're not massively powerful, but they've got a I think they've got a javelin or they might have a throwing axe. I don't even know. I've literally done like no research for this. It's just kind of stupid. But you can see the proof is in the pudding. The excellent quality, and you can see that the Sturgeon Heroic Blind Breakers really don't give a shit about these oath spawns lives or their families they're just slaughtering them it's literally just a slaughter fest they've killed maybe what there's 500 it's probably killed like 200 if that but these heroic line breakers they're just good against everything they're good against two-handed swords they're good against other two-handed axes they're good against spears they're good against halberds they're good against swords and shields they're good against horses which you'll find out after these infantry units i do think that these guys need a slight nerf like playing with them in the actual real game and doing these tests has just confirmed that they are just so friggin op man it's crazy i mean look how quickly they have dispatched this entire army of battalion wildings it's just crazy like these guys are tier 5 so they are tier 5 as well and they got a sword and a shield and a javelin for some reason the AI didn't think it was appropriate to throw javelins when clearly that would give them the advantage but if you watch the beginning they literally don't throw any javelins it's so dumb I don't know why I could control them and do it but it's just kind of dumb they should be throwing the javelins if they have that so they're not making the most out of their armory but here we've got 500 Kuz 8 Darkens and even though these guys are slightly stronger for one-handed sword and one-handed shield units what do you think is going to happen, guys? What do you think is going to happen, honestly? Really? Really? You know what's going to happen by now. The Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers are going to do exactly what they've done every single battle against these one-handed sword, one-handed shield guys, and they're going to slaughter them. They're going to absolutely slaughter them. And there we have it. 441 killed. They literally just wiped them out. So, this is what I was saying, guys. Watch this. So, you've got Imperial Elite cataparacts not cataphracts cataparacts against 500 sturgeon heroic line breakers so 500 versus 500 but the imperial elite cataparacts are tier six so they're one tier higher and they cost a shit ton more to run in your army so they're super super expensive so you would think i mean that charge damage they did was okay like it killed a couple but you would think given that the 1.9 whatever update patch were on basically the newest patch where they revamped the whole cavalry units to kind of run around and be super OP like they'll run through the army and the AI will run to the other side and run through them again and charge 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 and apparently it made them a lot better you can see this battle is literally friggin chaos like the Sturgeon Heroic line breakers are so powerful even though they don't have a spear they just have their axe so friggin strong look at all them horses they just they've killed all of the riders already and these are tier six and look just look at that bar what the hell like that bar is friggin stupid 
Granted, I'm not controlling those horse riders, because really you should be controlling your cavalry units and taking them here, there and everywhere. You shouldn't just press F1, F3, charge. Like, yeah, you shouldn't do that. But who can really be asked to control their army, honestly? Like, you're just going to charge, aren't you, really? Anyway, I am, because I guess I'm just lazy, but... You're just going to press F1, F3, and that's what's going to happen if you're against 500 Sturgeon Linebreakers. You're just going to get your ass kicked. So, what I've done in this battle, as you can see, is hit the 500 Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers against 500 Khan's Guard. And if you don't know what the Khan's Guard are, picture the best Mongolian horse archers that ever existed in the whole entire universe and picture them running around in a circle, circling an army and throwing 500 arrows per second, probably is per second, like just firing that at the army. It's just ridiculous, like they are so OP. And you can see by the bar, the, the Sturgeon Heroic Lion Breakers have killed with their stupid throwing axes. This is the thing, they're trying to throw throwing axes against these horse archers, which is just dumb. Like, how is that gonna, how is that? gonna win against them like it's just stupid. I mean look how much room they've got to run around so the Sturgeon Heroic Line Breakers this is just clearly to demonstrate to you that the Sturgeon Heroic Line Breakers given that they are super OP they are not invincible and to be honest the Khan's Guard are invincible you cannot beat them they will be every single infantry unit in the entire game and they'll be the bane of your life if you do play Mountain Blade 2 Bandlord so good luck with that you might as well just build your army of Khan's Guards because they are frigging OP. That's what, that's my advice if you want to win the game. Anyway, let's move on to the last and final round where I've put 500 Batanian OP. OP. Fian Champions against the 500 Sturgeon Linebreakers where we're going to see how well these units do against the OP Sturgeon Heroic Linebreakers. And if you do know Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord, you will know that the Batanian Fian Champions are friggin' OP! The OP! They are the most OP units in the entire game, bar the Khan's Guard. I don't know. Maybe I should do the Batanian Fian Champions against Khan's Guard. That'd probably be. A, actually, I don't know who would win that. I might do that for the next one. But you can see here that the Batanian Fian Champions don't take no shit from no one. They got that big friggin' Cloud Strife Final Fantasy VII two-handed sword that they shove up anyone's behind that they fight. So they're just gonna kick the crap out of these Sturgeon Heroic Lion Breakers. And that is literally it. Look at all those red. That's it, guys. The end of the video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take it easy.